Hello, beer drinkers. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. And Mela Kaliki Maka. I'm Bobby Covina. And I am Professor Bill. And this is the holiday edition of the West, West Coast, Coast Beer Cast. Cast. So today, what do we have, Robert? Porters. It's a good holiday beer. Yeah, absolutely. Uh-huh. Keeps you warm. Great lineup tonight. Definitely. First one we have is the Shoots Brewery up in Oregon. Pretty standard go-to one. You can find this Black Butte Porter most places around. Alaskan Smoked Porter. What's a smoked porter? Smoked flavor. It smells, it tastes like smoke. Okay. It doesn't really smell like smoke. I like keeping my smoke and beer separate though. Yeah. Up next we have the Stone Smoked Porter. This has been one of my favorites in the world when they add vanilla beans to it. I got to go to Stone Brewery the day they happen to have vanilla beans with this by Cask. By far the best beer I've ever had thus far. I think you said that about three times already. No, no, this one though, I'm telling you. The this smoke is the, porter, okay. the smoke porter with vanilla bean. You can only find it if you go to Stone. They do it twice a year. And then Flying Dog, Gonzo Imperial Porter. I've not had this one. No, excited. Heard good things about the Gonzo. It's Imperial, so it's going to be a bit more robust. Ah, and keeping with the festive mood, we have Carl Strauss, a San Diego brewer. Holiday, Baltic Porter. Nice. So Seamus is going to tell us a little bit about Baltic porters. From the Melikaliki Makas, the Kona Brewing Pipeline. This is a porter with 100% Hawaiian Kona coffee. Pretty mellow uh, coffee. I think you taste it in the finish from what I remember. Yeah. So recently I got to visit Kona. That's amazing. You're actually... It was amazing. I know. Bayhawk Chocolate Porter. Good way to finish the tasting. Definitely. That'll be our dessert for tonight. Great. All right, let's see what Seamus has to say about the porter. Hi, let's take a look at porters. The name porter was first used in the 18th century, talking about street and river porters in London. Now, the history of stouts and porters are quite intertwined. For quite some time, the name stout referred to either a strong porter, an extra porter, a double porter, or a stout porter. Soon people just started calling a strong porter a stout. For a long time, particularly in London, the porter became extinct, though it's recently been revived. And quite generally speaking, it's just a lighter bodied version of a stout. The first porters were brewed from 100% brown malt, but now it's quite possible to brew porters with as much as 95% pale malt. Can you believe it? One of the most exciting versions, besides the English and the Irish version, is the Baltic Porter. Now, if you do not know what the Baltics are, please hop to Google now. The Baltic Porter generally has a higher alcohol content, and like all ales, is a top fermenting beer. Finally, let's talk about America, where the West Coast beer cast takes place. In America, barley was quite expensive, so they began using sugar, molasses, corn, and licorice. So the American Porter has all these qualities, and those, my friends, is the Porter. We've got our Christmas tree pretzels. Yes. For the holiday episode. This is a bell, it's not a... Oh, okay, never mind. I think they're just holiday festive pretzels. They're the Christmas tree. Everything's here. All right. Cool. Cool, it's the first one? Black Butte. Up first, we have the Black Butte Porter. Coming to us from Deschutes. Wow. Sweet smell. I love the smell. Yeah. Man. It smells like a Christmas miracle fireplace. It smells really good. I could just sip this and be happy. That is a great smelling beer. I mean, if you like, just want to smell a beer because you can't drink, you're driving somewhere, just smell this. Definitely. It would like to match that. I don't even need to try it. Turn it into a cologne. You might get in trouble though if you're driving or go to work. You really do anything out in the world. Yeah, so it's got. Well, go ahead. You do it first. No, you don't. I mean, it's got that sweet up front, and then it kind of. It's it's got a, a bitter, but in a good way. Kind of it, it it kills all the sweetness. Yeah. 
definitely sweet up front. I'm yeah. not getting much after that though. No, it's a real quick sweet. Uh, next, this is the Alaskan smoked porter. It's supposed to be more of a smoky flavor. Smoky nose on yeah. it. Whoa, campfire. Yikes. Whoa, campfire. Ah. I got some ash in there. Oh my gosh. Did Lord they just pour Lord. ash in this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. How do they make this taste? Whoa, like that's camp, ash in Like you just stomped out a campfire and it just smelt like. And just shoved it in your mouth. And then, yeah, and the smoke kind of hits oh you. Oh my gosh. If you've never had a smoked anything, <laughs> This is the definition. You look up smoked porter and it will say smoke. See, also see uh, Alaskan smoked porter. Yeah. Wow. It's like I a smoked know. salmon meets a campfire two days later. Hmm. I, I would have a hard time drinking a whole pint of this. I don't know. Okay, so next we have the another smoked, but this is yeah. the stone. The see if they do a little better. Porter. Doesn't smell. Doesn't smell like a campfire. No. Much, much more. Yeah, much more tempered on the smokiness. Yeah. It's wow. aggressive. Getting a little coffee hint, though, like that. Yeah. Like a dark roasted coffee. The roasted, yeah, yeah. Lots of the roasted. Much, much more than... Uh, than smoked, but I suppose they wouldn't call it a roasted porter. Hmm. This reminds me a lot of the, of the black butte, but it's a lot, it, it's a lot more, uh, more, more testosterone on this one. Oh, Just, for sure. Yeah, that's what the black butte wants to be when it grows up. Mm -hmm. Gonzo Imperial stuff. Yes, yeah, the flying, flying dog. dog, Imperial. So it's going to have more. Oops, wow, more smells like, like alcohol. I don't like the nose as much. Hmm. Really acidic. Not so much bitter as acidic. No. Carbonated. Really bitter. It's all up front. What do you think? All right. Yeah. It's Malty, it's like more than the uh, stone. Yeah. But yeah, you definitely the alcohol comes through. But you know that's the imperials do that, right? They, yeah, that's do true. You know what the alcohol comes from? No, we don't. Let's look. What did you say? Seven point eight. That's not too high for a porter. I mean, no. it's medium high. The others are six, six and a half. This is seven point eight percent. Okay. There's definitely a lot going on. Yeah. I don't know, and it's got a kind of upfront sweetness that I don't really like. It's almost an annoying sweetness. I yeah, yeah. Carl Strauss. This is their parrot in a palm tree. Parrot in a palm tree. It's a spook for the 12 days of Christmas. Yeah, holiday Baltic porter. So, yeah. I don't know, you know, the, the Seamus walked us through the Baltics. They typically, most of them switch to bottom fermenting and lager yeast. And, and typically... They're top fermenting, like most ales. Right. So it's kind of a switch on that, but I don't know if Carl Strauss follows that. Whoa! What is that? That's like, like that's so different. That's like Christmas in liquid Christmas. <laughs> I'm just bringing back all my best memories of Christmas and some of my really? bad ones. I can't place that. What is? It's so different it's from anything way else. Way out there. This is way what out is of the this? box. I don't What's, know. You taste like because I don't a little bit of candy canes, a little bit of that pine scent. It's whoa, kind of licorice -y maybe. Yes, I was gonna say licorice. No yeah. molasses, licorice, very sweet, but then it. It kind of decays a little bit. Yeah. It gets licorice, black licorice, which I don't like as much. And then a little bit of peppermint. It's got the, it's just, this is what I imagined Christmas would taste like if it was a beer. Really? 
All right, so now we're on to the specialties, the Kona... Kona Pipeline. This one has coffee in it. In honor of uh, visiting Kona Brew, I picked up some new tasters. Kona Brewing Company. Promise to be impartial. Okay. Wow, I smell the coffee. Wow, do I smell the coffee. Compared to the rest of these, I smell a lot of coffee. I taste the coffee. Yeah. Wow. I've had this before and I've not tasted the coffee. But compared to the rest, yeah, I there's just, a lot of coffee. This is delicious. It's interesting. I had this last night mm -hmm. and by itself. But tasting it with the other ones, it just it has a whole different... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot mellower than the other ones. You know, There's yeah. the coffee, but there's not... You don't get that malt up front and that. No. Or none of the smokiness. Yeah. Seasoning. We get more of the roasted from the coffee. Yeah. Roasted coffee. Sweet. But they use 100% corn coffee. It has definitely got that, you know, earthy, robust kind of. Food yeah. It has. Definitely the earthy. I'm with you on that. Wow. This is really good. Yeah, this is drinkable. I mean,. Yeah. Very tasty, and to go with like a piece of uh, mud pie or something like that, or chocolate cake. Yeah, any dessert awesome. would be really good. The chocolate Bayhawk Porter. All these porters are, you know, have a bit of chocolate in them, have a bit of roastedness, but this one has actual chocolate in it. Yeah. It smells cool. like it. it smells mm -hmm. really rich. Really sweet up front, Tang, almost acidic tangy. Tang. Yes. Yeah. Wow. That's a weird aftertaste. Yeah. It's supposed it's, to be a chocolate aftertaste, but it. Not really. Just sweet. But tangy sweet. That's bizarre. Yeah. It's like a bitter sweet. It's like, like citrusy. Yeah. Almost like rotten it citrus. A little bit. Because I've had this just by itself without tasting you know, six beers before this, and I love it. Oh. I really thought this was going to be the pick of the week, but compared to the others, it just kind of... All right, time for the rundown. Ready for this? So Black Butte is a solid one. If you want just a decent porter, decent price, you can probably find Black Butte around to shoot, at least on the West Coast, is pretty well known. Solid beer. Our Alaskan smoked porter, man, you know that smell you get when you don't wash your jacket after you go to a campfire? <laughs> like three days later, you go to put that jacket on, you smell and go, ah, oh, I should have done some laundry because this jacket smells like campfire, reeks like campfire. You go out to... We got the point. Stone smoked porter, I think just represents porters quite well. If you don't know the difference between a porter and a stout, and really no one does, I think it's the quintessential porter. Flying Dog, the Gonzo Imperial Porter, all those adjectives. The Gonzo is just kind of acidic up front, complex, but I don't know, not a complex I can get behind. Very rich and thick. Parrot in a Palm Tree, the Carl Strauss. Um, this one's just fascinating. Really oaky. They aged this in, in tawny port oak wine barrels for like two months, nice. so it gives it a whole different. Yeah. Yeah. You got. You know what? I my thing. My recommendation is get a bottle of this while it's available, and just sit back by yourself, and it'll taste perfect. The Kona Pipeline. That's our porter with coffee. Really good. It's it's really strong on the coffee compared to other porters, especially. By itself, you might not notice the coffee as much. It might just taste like a porter. But compared to these others, I think it was really interesting to try. And finally, our uh, Bayhawk chocolate porter. Really sweet, kind of acidic-y, citrusy. Um, tangy. Tangy. Not really good. Yeah, tangy, tangy in not a good way. No. So I don't know. I've had it by itself. I love it by itself. But compared to these, it just does not hold up. So what's Professor Bell's pick of the week? So pick of the week. Pick of the week. I gotta go uh, with I think the quintessential 
porter, the smoked porter, but not the eating ash smoked porter, smokedness of the smoked porter. So you're saying the stone. I'm porter saying the porter. stone smoked porter. All right. And you, Bobby Covina, what would you say? I got to go with the holiday. Oh. Porter. I say curveball. Yeah. I say that's my pick. Yeah. Because nice. they just. It's unique. It is. So you got to try it. Absolutely. I would do it again. But about pick of the week, pick, pick of the, the week, week. Pick stone, stone smoked porter. So there it did is. Did I say that right? No, you did not. <laughs> the stone smoked porter, smoked porter, pick of the week. All right. Well, Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, Melikaliki Maka. I'm Bobby Covina, and I am Professor Bill. Saying now, now that's, that's a, a beer. beer.